how do you heal yourself? Well, you, you got to, you have to change the meaning. So there's a bunch of different ways. And, and I actually have processes that I take people through to help them heal. And there's a bunch of different ways. There's a bunch of different methodologies out there. You can use any one of them. There's like hypnosis type things that you can do. There's NLP stuff. There's, there's kind of this one world where they say you have to feel it to heal it, which isn't necessarily true, but it is a way that you can do it is you go back and relive those past memories and you break through it, you know, and you allow yourself to heal. Uh, there, there's a whole bunch of other things that you can do. I help women take, I help take women through some of these during my virtual events. And some of the big ones that I do is I help you associate new feelings to things, right? New emotions to things, or I help break old emotional patterns or uh, stories around something, right? So for instance, let me give you an example. So one of the examples, I'll, I'll just give you one of mine is that when I was growing up, I came from this world where I believed that my parents abandoned me, right? I, I believe that my parents abandoned me. My, when I was 13, my mom dropped me off at my dad's house and just never came back for me. And then my dad sent me to go to this psychiatric ward for a while to, for six months in order to like deprogram me. And then my uh, dad ended up sending me to go live with my grandma. And so in my head, I was like, my, my parents hate me. I was abandoned. I don't need anybody. Right. And I had this story of abandonment. And so most of my life, I was trying to prove myself, right. I was trying to prove that I was worthy of love and people and friendship and success and all the things that I wanted in my life. Well, there's a way that you can change that story, right? So what you can do is look at a different point in time, maybe a point before that point where you created that story. Cause that story was created when I was 13. Well, if I look before that, there's other things that happened in my life where my parents really loved me and they looked at me and they appreciated me and they held me and they were just amazed with me and they felt so proud of me and all of those things. And if I look at those stories and I change my story and I say, maybe my story isn't a story of abandonment. Maybe it's a story of being born in love. Maybe it's a story where I was loved my whole life and you know, this thing happened and they did the best that they could in order to try to give me the best life that they knew how to give me because they didn't feel like they were properly equipped as parents to really raise me the right way. And so there's a whole bunch of things, right? So what is your story? Is your story a tragedy? Is your story, uh, you know, like what, what is your story? Do you have a story of abandonment? Do you have a story of pain? Do you have a story of hurt? What if instead of having a, a tragedy as a story, what if you had a romantic comedy as a story? Or what if you had a comeback story where maybe you fought or, or had to deal with a whole bunch of really difficult things, but you broke through and you created a better future for yourself and you, you fought to create a greater life for yourself and the people that you love and the world around you, right? So you can change what your story is. And so instead of being in this world of, you know, all, oh, all these horrible things happened to me. You can reinterpret the meaning of those events and say, maybe those events happened so that I can become the person that I am today and create the life that I want to create or help these people and, and help other people who are suffering so that they don't have to experience what I experienced or, or prevent those things from happening in the future, right? So you can change your story and create a new story and then not be imprisoned by your own old story and start to heal and start to change the way that you see things and change the way that you look at stuff, change, change your belief systems about things and start opening yourself up to a new world, a new world of meaning, seeing everything completely differently than you saw things before. That was kind of a long explanation, but I hope, I hope you get that Cleo. I hope you get that.